very warm welcome everyone in this session we will discuss how to take assessment examinations on hackweda one to one platform uh, given your internship or the course which you are doing you will be getting relevant links in order to register for assessment examination once you receive the link for assessment examination you will be redirected to a registration page stating interview preparation you have to you register on the platform once again so that the appropriate assessment tests will be credited in your hackweda one to one account and you will be able to take those assessments so i'm going to log in with my id dshackweda3 at gmail.com 9654825370 that's my number now once you register for your assessment examination it has to be done by everyone once your registration is done you will receive an email on your email you will get the id and password in order to log into your account so let's say i'm going to log into my account dshackweda3@gmail.com since i'm already logged in i will be redirected to the profile page on your profile page you will get the relevant interview preparation programs where you have to take the assessment test so suppose you want to take the assessment test for data engineer cyber security as per your internship you can select the relevant test in this demonstration i am taking a test on scala so once i click on scala we will be redirected to a page where we will get access to the assessment test link the very first link will be the assessment test link you have to click on assessment test link and you will be redirected to the assessment page here you are going to get the introduction to examination format and the timing next you are going to click on next once you are ready to start the examination there is no time limit on these examinations currently we are asking all the questions which are available in hackweda's database so as to ensure that you are ready for the interviews uh, for final paid internships and for placements with our hiring partners once you are ready you have to click on start you can either resume your last attempted question or you can start from a fresh test in this case i'm going to start from the fresh test so once we go here we will be redirected to the first question so now you are going to get the questions which you need to answer now there are certain rules which you need to follow in order to answer these questions first your camera needs to be on so you can turn your camera on so that you are visible and we can record your interview in order to get your interview recorded you have to click on interview recording button here and you have to click on share entire screen now this will help us record your interview and our evaluation team will be able to re evaluate the interviews or in the questions which you guys have done keep this recording on till the time you are taking your examination now coming to the next point so let's say the first question is what are some main features of scala so i'm going to write the answer uh, here we don't have optional questions we don't have multiple choice questions all the questions uh, have to be answered in the statement format or in the quote format and we are going to evaluate your answers on the basis of patterns depending on uh, our database and internet followed by we are also going to evaluate your interviews manually as well and the hiring partners will also be evaluating your interviews uh, in the videos video format which has been recorded so suppose the first question is what are some main features of scala so i can say the main feature of scala is scalability and interoperability so i'm going to write an answer somewhat like that in case if you need any hint while attempting these questions we have currently given you an option known as view hint you can click on view hint and on the view hint page you can get some relevant answers you cannot copy and paste these answers from here but these are the kind of answers which are available in the database uh, with which we are going to match your uh, responses so here you can see what are some main features of scala so the answer says some languages bring unique benefits to a particular kind of project making them the best advice the interoperability of scala functional programming paradigm propelled scala's rapid growth so this is an example answer but it is not mandatory that you uh, will be copying each and answer you can write the answer in your own format and once done you can click on next once your answer is submitted we will be redirected to the second class 
and here we can we are getting the second question which is what are the case classes in scala and we can answer it uh, in the similar format once you guys are done solving all the questions and answering all the questions you can quickly click on stop the record button and your practice test recording will be saved as well as uh, you can turn your camera off from here now once you are done with this finally after attempting all the questions you will be redirected to the results page on the results page once your test is complete you are going to get a response about your status it can be pass or a fail status depending on the number of exams which you have number of questions which you have attempted since i have only attempted a couple of questions only uh hence my score is 2 uh, so you are going to get your percentage score you are going to get your overall rank uh, in with respect to other competitors you are also going to get your status either pass or fail also you are going to get the score of each and every questions which you have answered for that particular test on the right hand side you are going to get a leaderboard also which will display the rank of participants followed by once you are done taking the assessment you can if the status is pass then you can quickly go and generate the certificate once you click on generate the certificate you will be redirected to your status uh, since uh, i am since i have not passed this uh, test at the moment hence it is not generating any certificate but i am going to show you how you can access your certificates so once you are done you will be redirected to generate certificate page and the generate certificate page is going to look somewhat like this i am going to quickly show you how it looks so you will be uh, able to see your certificate once clicking on generate certificate you will be getting a page somewhat like this so here you are going to get the certificate now once you have got your certificate your certificate will mention your name it will mention american national accreditation board accreditations and international accreditation federation accreditations followed by your course name followed by the date of achievement and your unique certificate number signed by uh, the director hackway the limited so once you are able to pass the assessment test you will be certified and you will be proceeding to the next step which is paid internships uh, part internships with hiring partners placements with hiring partners thank you so much for watching this video